Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to answer a question that's been asked quite often and that is what's the difference between the Oximo I.O. and the RS100 I.O. because they're both I.O. motors and they're both specifically used for rotor shutters. Now first of all when you compare those two those motors here, um, these two both have the same amount of torque, 10 Nm, uh, but as you can see the RS100 which is in the front is a lot shorter. Um, so that makes it suitable for even small uh, roller shutters and that's an advantage. Um, another advantage is that it's very quiet. Um, so it's, it's a completely new build of motor, so it's not comparable to the Oximo IO um, when you look at the internal parts. And um, because it's so quiet, you can, you can use it everywhere and, uh, and not hear much when the roller shutter is running up or down. That function is also available directly from the remote control where you reduce the uh, amount of uh, noise even further by just flicking the switch. Um, that's on the Smooth RS100 remote control where you can flick the switch and, and the motor will run basically at a half speed, um, which reduces the, the noise even more. So that's a, that's a big benefit. Um, when you look at the price, because it's also an important issue of course, um, there's not much difference between the Oximo I.O. and the RS100. So for a little bit more, um, about 10, 15 euros more, you can actually get an RS100. So that's, a, that's a quite an advantage as well. You don't pay that much extra for quite a, lot of, uh, quite, quite a few more benefits. Um, so is it always the best option to use the RS100? Unfortunately, no it isn't, um, because the range is fairly limited. Um, um, you have a maximum torque of 20 Nm, so you have a 6, 10, 15 and 20 Nm version. Um, anything above that you will have to use the Oximo I.O. Um, so if you have very large roller shutters then uh, you need to go to the Oximo I.O. The good, good thing about that is that you can actually um, pick and mix so you, you can you can choose um, the RS100 for those shutters where they where they are suitable and for the larger ones you can use the uh, the Oximo version um, and you can still use the same IO remote so um, there's no need to have different remotes or whatever the only difference is of course when you use the uh, the wall version the uh, the smooth uh, RS100 that you don't have this low speed on the uh, on the Oximo now what else is, is important to know, the motor has a soft stop and a soft start function. Um, that means that it will actually increase its speed slowly to full speed and it will reduce its speed when it's almost at the end. Um, and that, that makes for a longer lifetime for your roller shutter that actually protects it by, uh, by starting slowly and, and, and stopping slowly. Um, when you look at that, that, that um, range of, of stopping and, uh, and starting, that's actually something you can set um, along with a lot of other things like the speed uh, with a setting tool. Uh, there's an IO setting tool which is basically a dongle that you connect to your, um, to your PC and with that you make a connection to the motor and you can, uh, you can see a lot of data like how long it's been used, um, if it's been reset for example but also you can change a lot of settings um, like the range of the slow start, slow stop um, but also the speed so that's something that's, uh, that's also possible only on the RS100 so there's a lot of customization options if you, if you want to look into those details and if you want to customize it that far but even out of the box it's of course a motor that's very quiet and, and gives you a lot of comfort um, if you like more information about this, make, feel free to send an email. I'll provide my contact details in, um, in the description below. And if you have any questions, uh, do let me know. Now, if you want to subscribe to more news like this, then uh, make sure uh, to do so. You can click on the link and then uh, YouTube will automatically inform you when a new video is available. In any case, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.